the world just blinked, and China leapt decades ahead. While most nations are debating the ethics of artificial intelligence, China is quietly building an entire future powered by it. From cars that think like humans to cities that operate like living organisms, what's unfolding right now feels less like 2025, and more like the first chapter of science fiction becoming real. While the Western world stays distracted by politics and endless commentary, China is writing a different story. A story where drones replace delivery men, where doctors don't hold scalpels but control robotic arms from across the country, and where skyscrapers rise not by human hands, but by the precision of self-driving construction fleets. It's not a prediction anymore. The future isn't coming. It's already here, and China is leading it. Let's start small, with something as simple as dinner. Remember the old days when pizza delivery meant a 45-minute wait and a cold box at your doorstep? China said never again. Today, fleets of AI-guided drones deliver steaming meals in 15 minutes flat, accurate to the very minute. One company, Muan, has completed over 300,000 successful deliveries by air. That's the equivalent of serving an entire city without a single driver on the road. And in China's vast countryside, where modern convenience was once a distant dream, JD.com's aerial pickup trucks, massive drones that carry up to 30 kilograms, are rewriting logistics. They're connecting mountain villages that were once cut off from the modern world, proving that even the most remote corners of the country are plugged into the AI grid. But that's just the beginning, because while drones dominate the skies, the roads of China are being transformed by something even more extraordinary. Cars that no longer need humans. 15 million new cars hitting Chinese roads this year will have robot brains that can drive themselves. Two out of every three vehicles are now equipped with self-driving systems. But one model stands out like it was pulled straight out of the future, the Gaewo One. This isn't a normal self-driving car. It's a machine with a mind of its own. Powered by dual NVIDIA orange chips delivering 508 trillion operations per second, armed with 11 HD cameras and five radar systems, the Gaon doesn't just see the road, it understands it. Its AI partner, Simo, is more than an assistant. You can talk to it like a friend. You can stand outside your house and call, Simo, pick me up. Within moments, the car rolls up, completely on its own. And if you think that's impressive, wait until you see BYD's Yangwang U8. This SUV doesn't just drive, it dances. With four independent motors, it can spin in place like a tank, crab walk sideways into tight parking spots, and even float through floods like a boat for up to 30 minutes. Imagine escaping a flash flood not by waiting for rescue, but by casually steering your car into the water and driving across it. Then there's the BYD U9 Supercar, a 1,287 horsepower beast that accelerates from 0 to 100 kmh in just 2.36 seconds. But its speed isn't even the craziest part. It can literally jump and dance. Using its advanced suspension system, the car can hop 75 millimeters into the air and synchronize its moves to music. You're not watching a car. You're watching performance art powered by raw engineering brilliance. China's automakers have done more than revolutionize transportation. They've made the impossible affordable. A Ferrari might cost over half a million dollars, but a BYD supercar sells for less than half that price. No wonder BYD just became the first automaker in the world to reach 10 million new energy vehicles. While the rest of the world debates whether AI should drive, China has already embraced it. Surveys show that 85% of Chinese citizens are comfortable with self-driving cars, compared to just 39% in America. And that cultural acceptance is accelerating progress. Over 16,000 autonomous taxis are already operating in 19 cities across China, covering more than 32,000 kilometers of specialized test roads, the largest network on Earth. But there's one question that always lingers. Charging time. Electric cars might be fast, but recharging takes forever. Well, China just erased that problem too. BYD's new 1 megawatt fast charging system gives cars 400 kilometers of range in just five minutes. Think about that. Charging your car is now faster than filling it with gasoline. If that doesn't sound futuristic enough, let's talk about trains that don't even touch the ground. China's maglev trains float on magnetic fields, gliding so smoothly and quietly that they feel like time machines. 
These technological marvels have already hit speeds of 404 miles per hour, faster than some airplanes at takeoff. In testing, one train shattered expectations, reaching 620 miles per hour. At that speed, you could travel from Beijing to Shanghai in just 2.5 hours. And while the world watches in disbelief, China is preparing the next generation to take it even further. Starting this year, every child in Beijing as young as six must take artificial intelligence classes, at least eight hours a year. Millions of children learning to code, design, and understand AI before they even learn long division. In 184 schools, even more advanced programs are being tested, turning kids into future innovators before they hit high school. But perhaps the most astonishing part of China's transformation isn't in classrooms, it's in construction. In the freezing north, China recently built an entire highway without a single human worker. A fleet of 100 self-driving haul trucks, each carrying 85 tons, worked day and night, directed entirely by algorithms. No drivers, no delays, no errors. Alongside them, autonomous road rollers and pavers laid the surface perfectly, guided by GPS and AI mapping. China isn't just using robots to drive. It's using them to build the very roads those robots will travel on. Step inside one of China's major airports, and it feels like stepping into a movie set from the future. Facial recognition systems glide passengers through security, boarding, and baggage checks in seconds. At Shanghai Hongqiao Airport, travelers can check in, clear security, and board their flight in just 12 seconds. Beijing's largest airport runs on over 600 biometric checkpoints. No tickets, no IDs, no delays. Just walk, and the system knows who you are. Across the country, over 200 million surveillance cameras scan faces, analyze behavior, and identify people in real time. But while the West views this as dystopian, China sees it as efficiency at scale, a new standard for safety and automation. Even police wear AI-powered helmets that can recognize wanted individuals instantly. And yet, the same technology that powers surveillance is also revolutionizing daily life. Imagine paying for your coffee, not with cash, a card, or your phone, but with your palm. That's not a concept, it's reality. Through WeChat's Palm Pay, millions of Chinese citizens now make payments simply by waving their hands. The system scans veins and lines under the skin, more secure than fingerprints, with an error rate of less than one in a million. In stores, subways, and even schools, people now pay with a gesture. If you think that's the limit, you haven't met China's robots. The Unitree G1 humanoid robot stands 1.3 meters tall, weighs just 35 kilograms, and moves like a trained athlete. It can run, jump, wave, shake hands, perform kung fu, and dance with rhythm so smooth it feels alive. For $16,000, you can buy a robot companion that cleans, carries, and entertains. Then there's Gyo 2, the robot dog. Light, agile, and eerily intelligent, it can backflip, run at 11 miles per hour, and navigate complex terrain while recognizing your voice. Its advanced sensors give it a 360-degree view with zero blind spots. You can take it jogging, to work, or even let it patrol your home. At the Asian Games in Hangzhou, these robotic dogs carried equipment across fields as the crowd watched in amazement. Meanwhile, China's ex-robots company is blurring the line between humans and machines. They've built hyper-realistic androids, complete with skin, teeth, and expressive eyes that can smile, frown, and even tell stories. They've recreated Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking as talking robots that explain their discoveries in museums. With 140 points of articulation, these robots can mimic nearly every human expression. The factory now produces over 500 humanoids a year, and they're already working in schools, hotels, and government offices. But it's in healthcare, where the fusion of AI and robotics becomes almost surreal. In Xinjiang, Chinese surgeons have successfully operated on patients 8,000 kilometers away, using robotic arms guided through ultra-fast 5G connections. In hospitals, AI nurses deliver medicine autonomously, navigating hallways with precision and never making a mistake. Then there's Dr. Alfred, 
a robot doctor so advanced it can diagnose diseases and hold medical conversations in multiple languages. In China's first AI-powered hospital, 14 robot doctors and four robot nurses treat up to 3,000 patients per day, with an accuracy rate of 93%. That's beyond the performance of many human doctors. And the revolution doesn't end at hospitals. It stretches all the way to the fields. China's DJI Agris T100 drone can carry 100 kilograms of seeds or pesticides, covering massive farmlands day and night with automated precision. Its onboard sensors detect obstacles, adjust flight patterns, and optimize spray distribution. Nearby, fleets of cotton-trimming robots work at speeds 120 times faster than humans, maintaining fields that once took hundreds of laborers to manage. Even planting has gone high-tech. GPS-guided transplanters can cover up to seven hectares a day, doing the work of 80 people effortlessly. With machines like these, China's farms are evolving into self-running ecosystems where human labor is optional. From sky to soil, highways to hospitals, classrooms to skyscrapers, China is not waiting for the future. It's manufacturing it. Each invention, each robot, each self-thinking machine is another step toward a fully automated civilization. And perhaps that's what's most astonishing. While other nations debate and hesitate, China simply builds. It builds faster, smarter, and with the unwavering belief that innovation is not a choice, it's survival. The future isn't coming someday, it's being assembled right now, piece by piece, line by line. And when the rest of the world finally looks up, they may realize that the future everyone dreamed of has already taken off from a launchpad called China.